Good day, I'm Pete here with Software Review, and well, I'm excited to show you today two electrical estimating software solutions for your estimating needs. Now, the goal of this video, it's simple. It's just to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of two very different electrical estimating software packages. Each of these software packages works very differently, so I'm going to be showing you the differences in this video. Just a bit of information about me, if you're not familiar with me. I've been estimating for years and I've used, uh, well, most of every electrical estimating software on the market. And I think what you're going to see here today in this video, it's going to surprise you. Especially if you have the idea that the computer estimating work is hard. The first software that we're going to review is a product that I've been using for over five years. I do know my way around this software. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be entering just a few simple items in each of the software packages. Let's go under lighting. We're going to install 10 fixture types. Each fixture will take 0.75 man hours to install. The tags will be just A to J, just to make it simple. We're going to start by entering 10 A's, 10 B's, 10 C's, 10 D's, 10 E's, 10 F's, 10 G's, 10 H's, 10 I's, and 10 J's. In the following video, I'm going to show you the steps it takes to install the 10 light fixtures listed above in software package number one. So let's begin. Select lighting. Enter the description, which will be your lighting tag A through J. Enter the quantities for tag A. Go ahead and select F2 and then enter your man hours for this fixture. Go ahead and select OK. Now just repeat these steps nine more times. And when you finish, you will have entered the lights and quantities and then the man hours it takes to install each one of these fixtures. And step number two. Next, we're going to add one J-Box, one cover, three wire nuts per light fixture. Then we're going to include 10 feet of half inch GMT with three number 12 THHN conductors per fixture with the associated couplings, connectors, and straps. In the up and coming video, notice I did not really have any trouble adding the boxes, covers, and wire nuts because I created an assembly for each one of these items earlier. But you do have to remember how to get back to those assemblies, which is going to take several clicks. Now, these are the steps it will take. Take off, miscellaneous take off, assemblies, common assemblies, common device. Now sort through about 90 plus items and then select box assembly. This will take several steps to memorize, but you can learn these and I'm sure in a very short amount of time. Next, we're also going to add 2000 half inch CMT with three number 12 THHN conductors. To add these items, we must go to take off branch circuits, take off and wire, enter quantities, set the attributes, then select F2. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps that I use to install the items mentioned above. Scroll down and find miscellaneous takeoff. Go through the steps as we talked about earlier until you find boxes. Enter quantities, then OK. Now, move to wire conduit branch circuits, change the attributes. Enter quantities, then select F2. We're just going to add one more item to finish the review of software package number one. Now, we're going to add 10 single pole switches with 10 boxes, 10 plaster rings, 10 plates. We're also going to add 10 feet of EMT raceway to each switch to get above the ceiling. Now, the steps to accomplish this is going to be as follows. Go to miscellaneous takeoff, sort through 90 plus items, find switch and plate, enter quantity, find box and plaster ring, enter quantities, miscellaneous takeoff, all items, conduit, EMT standard, select one half EMT, enter quantity. Repeat the steps above to add to your couplings, connectors, and straps. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the step I use to enter the item mentioned above. Find miscellaneous takeoff. Choose through the list to find your switch and plate, then enter your quantities. Choose through the list to find your box and plaster ring. Enter your quantities. Go back to miscellaneous takeoff, sort through the tree for conduit. Go 
Choose EMT. Choose the size. Enter quantity. OK. Now, do the same for your fittings and your straps. Now we're going to review software package number two. I've used many different electrical estimating software packages over the years and all, well, they all pretty much work just like the one we just reviewed. Now in this review, I was given a different type of software package called Best Bid Electrical Estimating Software. I really was not expecting this software to be much different than the last eight that I've reviewed. So let's give Best Bid a test run. Now I'm not going to address all the features Best Bid offers, such as the on-screen takeoff module and so on. I just want to repeat the same functions that we just covered with software package number one on the Best Bid software and see if there's any real difference between the two. And if so, what? I'm going to start by entering the same 100 light fixtures, 2,000 feet of raceway conductors, and then add 10 single pole switches. Please watch the following video to see these steps. In this video, we're going to install the lights. The labor to install the lights, boxes, wire nuts, covers, raceways, conductors, couplings, connectors, straps. Plus, we're going to also install seismic hangers and screws. The steps to create this will be select lighting. New. Enter tags. Save that as it is. After reviewing the software every week, I am hard to impress, but I got to admit, this was amazing. And I think you're going to see how much easier, faster, and more accurate this product was than it was in the first package video. Everything was on one screen, very few clicks, and it covered everything. Now we're going to enter the switches, boxes, plaster rings, raceways, conductors, just like before, plus the grounding stingers and screws. The steps will be select switches, new, enter quantity, save. When you multiply this simplicity and speed across the entire estimate, I find the best bid electrical estimating software, it wins hands down above all the other software that I've ever tested. So here's what I found. First, there are far fewer steps, which makes it at least five times faster. Simpler to learn, fewer steps, it's more detailed, adds more products with much less effort. The results can be 100% modified to include whatever your needs are. And I found the price is better. The most competitively priced software that I have ever looked at. Unlimited license, free technical support, lifetime updates, one-time price for life, they offer a complete line of electrical estimating and on-screen takeoff software solutions. All right. My conclusion is best bid electrical estimating software easily wins the challenge hands down. You can go and find them online, get more information from them direct. It's www.bestbidestimating.com for more information. That's all the time I have today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. My name's Pete, software review guy. Thanks so much for watching.